Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Updates for January 25th, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. Today is January 25th, 2020. This week we're going to talk about three different uh, exploits. Two of them are browser-based and one of them is Microsoft Windows operating system. So let's begin. The first one has to do with a Safari browser. In a technical paper posted online this week, Google researchers described how they found five different kinds of potential attacks linked to the vulnerability that would have enabled third parties to gather sensitive private information about the user's browsing habits. The issues concerned Apple's Intelligent Tracking Prevention, ITP, technology, a privacy mechanism incorporated into the Safari browser in October 2017. ITP is designed to reduce cross-site tracking of web users by limiting the capabilities of cookies and other website data, but ironically the ITP vulnerability had the potential to expose browser link data. Google said that the uncovered flaw put users data at risk as it offered access to an on device list created by the ITP technology that implicitly stores information about the websites visited by the user. If the weakness had been exploited or used, it would have paved the way for unofficial and uncontrollable user tracking. Luckily this flaw has been patched by Apple. Just make sure that you have the latest version of Safari installed. The next exploit has to do with Microsoft's Internet Explorer. Microsoft has confirmed a security flaw affecting Internet Explorer and is currently being used by hackers, but that it has no immediate plans to fix. The vulnerability was found in how Internet Explorer handles memory. An attacker could use the flaw to remotely run malicious code on an effective computer, such as tricking the user into opening a malicious website from a search query or a link sent by an email. It is believed to be similar to the vulnerability as the one disclosed by Mozilla, the makers of Firefox browser, earlier this week. Both Microsoft and Mozilla credited Quoho 360, a Chinese-based security research team, with finding the flaw under active attack. Microsoft said that it was aware of limited targeted attacks and was working on a fix, but it's unlikely that to release the patch until its next round of monthly security fixes scheduled for February 11th. The last vulnerability we're going to talk about was discovered by a very unlikely source, <laughs> the NSA. Instead of keeping this vulnerability to themselves and exploiting it, they decided to tell Microsoft about it so they get fixed. The vulnerability was found on Windows on the Windows component called Crypt32.dll, which handles certificate and cryptographic messages function. According to Microsoft, an exploit in the area could affect authentication on Windows desktops and servers. Sensitive data on Microsoft's Internet Explorer and Edge browsers may and many third-party applications. Hackers could use this to spoof digital signatures, making malware look like legitimate apps. This vulnerability is very serious as it could make malware look like legitimate apps. So the best thing to do is if you're on Windows 10 is to update immediately. If you're on Windows 7, the best thing to do is to either upgrade to Windows 10 or find an alternative operating system. This concludes this week's security updates and I hope to see you next week. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. 
For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.